earlier, you know, this party isn't about him. All of us in here had to live 50 years with this man. You know, and his family praised them, loved them, and his wife, we always, me and his sisters, all look at each other and go, thank God for Kainani to <laughs> take care of him so we don't have to worry about him. But you know, um, it was so funny, one day I was down at the lacrosse field because I used to go down before he was at Kainani, I used to be his designated driver, have to go with him all these different places. And one day me and Kala went and I was like, wow, the lacrosse team, they get one some more in on their team. Cause look, they get the guy with the long hair. He goes, mom, that's Papa Hale Aloha. That's, that's Papa, that's not, that's not. So I was like, oh my goodness, too good. So I, I'm gonna tell Jeff, you know, no, yeah, I gotta keep your head sharp. You gotta keep, you gotta keep it sharp. Cause yeah, we don't want to mistake you on the field. But Hale Aloha means a lot to me. Um, 10 years ago, last week, is the 10 years um, anniversary of my son's Ka'imua. That happened at Kanevai, along with, where did he come out? Did he go home? Yeah, he's here. Ope, ope. Oh, okay, he's here. And Kihei Nahalea and Kioni Kuoha, who um, came together to help me raise my son. And it was so cool because a week, the week after I asked them to do this kuleana, Hale shows up, or has there's this cooler that shows up to my house, and it's full of fish in it. Yeah, and I don't know. I never knew Hale Aloha before that to be a man that fished or hunted or <laughs> did anything. He was the lawyer that Moses then was talking about. That's that's you know. Yeah, you know, and then all of a sudden came fish at my house, you know, and he said, Hala. You know why I sent the fish to your house? And I was like, oh no. He goes, you know, because I can do that. You know, I can do that now. I, I have something to offer, you know, a son, you know. And I was just, I was so amazed at his his tenacity and his fierceness. I met Hale Aloha Eyal on a set. I don't know if Mickey Allah remembers this. On a set of a... Uh, a show that we're filming to learn Hawaiian language with. Um, what was the name of the show? The Kainz one? Yeah, no, no, it's Kulevi? Yeah, with Ekela, Kanea Opio. And I was just a young student, very shy, and innocent. <laughs> kind of like how I am today, but I drank a whole bottle of wine, so I'm all good now. But all I heard was, you know, my friends are telling me, oh my God, Mikiala's brother is coming and he's kind of intense and he's involved in these deep issues and, you know, he's this, this kind of person. So when he came, he was eight feet tall to me. And then I went to Punani's after that. And the same man was there and I learned the true essence of the word balance. <laughs> That's when I learned that in order to be incredibly, incredibly deep, you have to somehow come up to the shallowest of surfaces. And I had actually never before that time quite met anybody who would take me between the depths um, of Kanaloa and to the heights of Wakea before I met this man. Um, and it's been truly a learning experience um, and funny every step of the way. Fun, like just nonstop fun. You know, the only thing I hold against him is he took, if he took the woman that if I was let at, I would have married away from me. <laughs> And I always tell him that, dude, don't slip up, because I'm right there. And I can turn in any minute. Because <laughs> it was actually here in this yard, and mahalo to Auntie Primrose for always providing this lovely space for us here. But it was here in this yard that I first saw Dama Kahona Ele. Singing. That's how Lani girl said, hey, that's, that's Donna. Donna Donna is just from Kauai. Do you know? You know, and I was just like, oh my God, I think I'm in love. And Kihei was here too. 
you know, but I had fallen in love with Kihei before that, so it was all good. It was all good. But I was like, Donna God, Elliot, oh my God. And then Holly ended up marrying her, and I was just like, oh, sucks to be me. But <laughs> yay for Holly Aloha, because we always said, there is no one, no one who can truly embrace um, this man and his complexities and his, um, um, what did I call it earlier? His porno, I guess. <laughs> I guess, something like that. His, his balance, yeah, and his need to move between those. But for all of his keiki um, that are here and, and all of his ohana that has had to, um, I had to have lived with you all these years, but you know, who have nurtured um, and all these great friends that we see around here. This is a, you know, from from unknowing eyes, this is a kind of weird audience, you know. Like <laughs> this is truly a strange combining of beautiful people. Yeah, and it takes an energy like Hale Aloha to be able to do that. So my kanao, my um, brother, love you do anything for you and your wife and your, your children and, and anybody else and do <laughs> and do anything you said um, in fact I just had to aloha one of his his lacrosse buddies because while he was having fun in jail he had turned me into an activist outside because I was shy before that <laughs> yeah. let's just stick with that story okay let's just stick with that story everybody before Hala met Halala, she was shy. Yes. And we stood outside every morning at sunrise and every afternoon at sunset with whoever was there to um, kind of acknowledge what him and Kihei were going through at that time, not knowing the full time that they never know we was out there. And, and the only notice I got, um, it was such a nerve wracking time for me. Um, and I know everybody else in your ohana, but for me, that I was always, I was on pins and needles, and then I get a call from his lawyer one day, and she leaves a voicemail, Mihana, I have a message from, from Eddie, you know, and I was like, oh my God, so I leave, I run out of my office, and I go outside, and I listen, I call her back up, and I was like, yes, what is, what is Eddie have to say like you know he's in jail and I'm, I'm, I'm all tense and everything like that and she goes um he wanted me to remind you to register your son's bicycle because the registration <laughs> his bicycle that i just bought him for christmas wait 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 wait, wait, wait. I, gotta, I forgot something this is the ultimate crap that he did make me do you know he made me be a smuggler out of jail <laughs> I forgot about that. This guy went in jail before I had seven days. This guy, right before I go leave out, I'm like ready to go, right? I'm like, I'm out of here, bro. See you later. Peace out. And he's like this, bro, you gotta take this out, bro. You gotta smuggle this out. What is it? On these pieces of paper, he wrote a freaking grant when I was in jail. He, who was it for? I forget, but like, he's like, I wrote this grant and it's all on these pieces of paper. <laughs> I forgot about that. Eh? I just had to say, color mine. Let me full cut. You know, it's not about me. I know. So you but... have Vaseline. You have to Vaseline. That. <laughs> right. so that's the real question we want to know. Did you have to use the Vaseline or not? Let me tell you, bro. <laughs> Balloons are high commodity, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roland Grant. So while we're all outside staging a mission, like on a mission to like save the Lahui and protest against the evil, the evilness that was upon us, this dude was sending messages out with his lawyers like, um, yeah, the bike that I bought, just bought um, Kalahi Keola for Christmas, it needs to be registered. <laughs> or what, Hale Aloha? Like what did you think was going to happen? Yeah, he was going to join you in jail, I guess, at that time. So get the bike registered. And I'm, I'm like crying, I'm like in tears because she's saying Eddie has a message for me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what profound statement does he have to share with me from in the bowels of the federal prison? And he has, yeah, register your bike. And again, 
so then again, puts in perspective this man who, you know, who also will call me to say, yeah, Mihana, you need to, we need to do this. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything. You just need to do it. You need to come and do it. And both times, either way, yeah, whatever you say, whatever you say, I'm down. It's not because I'm easy like that. Dispel all the rumors. I don't care what people say. Right? That's not true. I'm not easy like that. Be quiet underneath the plumeri bushes. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no Vaseline, no Vaseline, no Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, I don't use Vaseline, yeah. Um, but, because, because of your manuiness and because this is the only song I can sing on key and rock it as if I have a Nahoku Hano Hano award behind me, I'm gonna make everybody sing this Mele Lahui with me for you. <laughs>